Hi everyone and welcome to the Fall Home Refresh event. My name is Justin McGuinn. I am the Marketing Manager for Events and Experiences here at Anthropology. I'm joined today by two of our most seasoned and talented um, home office team members. We have Maddie Bender, who is our Brand Styling Manager, and we also have Tom McGill, who is our Senior Brand Stylist. Maddie and Tom are going to walk us through some of our favorite pieces from the new collection we have coming up for fall and give you tips and tricks for decorating your own home. I also just wanted to let everyone know that we have a bunch of other exciting events coming up for you over the course of the next few months. So before we all leave today, I'll make sure everyone knows how to find those events and how to RSVP because we would love to see you for even more that we have coming up. Maddie, I'll let you kind of take it from here. Awesome. Thanks, Jess. Hi, everybody. Thank you again for tuning in to, a night, to tonight's event. Um, I'm Maddie, as Jess mentioned, and I manage brand styling for Anthropology and Beholden. And I'm so excited to spend this time with you and my colleague, Tom, who I'll introduce in just a minute. And um, just a quick little background on me. I've been with the brand for over four years, supporting styling and service for home apparel and everything in between. Um, our team supports our amazing home stylists in the field, located at one of our 28 design centers across the country. And we also support um, our virtual offering as well. So we're really excited that we have now launched virtual home styling appointments on our website, as well as email consultations. So you'll be able to connect with us from the comfort of your own home if you like what you see today. So now we'll get into the product. So what we've done for you today is we've pulled some of our favorite looks from our two editorial photo shoots. So Home on the Hudson and Proper with a Twist is what they're called. We're gonna break down the key pieces in the space and then go through some ideas on how you can put the look together with the individual items or just a few small updates that are a little bit different will help you achieve that same look. So we really encourage you to participate, use the chat to ask questions, engage. We really wanna hear what you're loving um, throughout the event. And with that, let me introduce you to the wonderful Tom McGill, who is going to be my co-host tonight. So Tom, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um, before we dive in? Thanks, Maddie. Um, hi, as Maddie said, my name is Tom. Um, I have been with Anthropology for over eight years, um, and I work as the senior brand stylist for Home, um, helping to support our home styles in the field, uh, but also uh, helping to style spaces for customers all over the country. All right. Um, so to kick this off, we figured we would start with the living room. Um, and I want to talk about, this is a look I'm really excited about for fall. And um, what we're looking at here is a really, really impactful tonal look. Uh, so it's kind of a new take on monochromatic, but almost making it an ombre. So you're seeing our, the star of the show here is the Mirren Modular sectional. It's this gorgeous brick red uh, custom sectional. Um, and then you'll see we've taken inspiration from that color and used uh, sort of gradients throughout. So you'll see bits of that red, uh, almost blush pinks, corals, um, to create a space that's not quite monochromatic, but has a lot of depth. Um, so let's talk about this mirror and modular sectional because it's new for fall and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so when we say modular, we mean it's pretty truly a modular piece. You can kind of customize this however you want. You can add a piece with a chaise, you can have an armless sofa. Uh, so the configurations are many and they're totally up to you. So if you have a small space, you could do um, a one-armed or uh, like a smaller size sofa, um, or you can really create anything from an L shape to a full-on U shape, which is great for, for entertaining um, or just for lounging around and watching a movie. Um, so you can see here, uh, the Murin also is only one of five modular seating collections that we have. Uh, if you're browsing on the website, you'll see all of our modular seating has its very own page. So it's a one-stop shop uh, for all your modular seating needs. Okay, so- I personally live in New York and have a pretty compact apartment. So this is a really great sofa that I'm hoping will grow with me and my non-existent large home someday in the future. And it definitely can. What's great about the, um, the sections that have a chaise is the chaise is actually reversible. So you can have it on oh, either side, which is great, especially if you rent and you move a lot in New York like I do. Um, it really gives you a lot of versatility. I'm gonna uh, so say right now, I can probably fit one piece, maybe two. But <laughs> we're gonna aim high and hopefully have five or six eventually. <laughs> Love that. We'll get there. 
So we're going to take the image that we originally saw of the room and here we've sort of broken it out so you can see all the components that make up the space. Uh, so when we talk about a strong tonal color story, again, you see the mirror in here. Um, I do want to talk about the fabric that's upholstered in for a minute. The mirror is upholstered in our chunky basket weave and this fabric is incredible. Um, it's a multi-tonal weave, so from far away it looks like one thing, like one sort of um, matte color. Uh, but when you get up close, you can really see it's uh, interwoven with all of these fibers that are different shades of reds. It's got some contrasting hues of blue in it. Uh, so it, it really is um, stunning, stunning fabric. It has a very soft hand feel, and it's constructed from olefin fiber, which means not only is it super soft, but it's very highly durable and actually stain resistant. So this is a great choice for families uh, and for pets as well. Or if you're like me and like a glass of red wine at the end of the night. A hundred percent. No way to open for me. <laughs> Uh, so I just want to point out a couple of other key components here. Again, continuing with that sort of red color story, we have this really stunning Millert side table. Um, this is actually made of red dragon onyx, which is a very uh, high-end marble. Um, I think this is stunning. It's such a different take on uh, like your classic side table. It's so unexpected, the material and shape. Um, and this table is part of our uh, Lemieux at Sea collection. So this fall, one of our artist collaborations that we're really excited about was with Christiane Lemieux. She is a Canadian designer um, and she designs pieces that are, they have their foundation in sort of classic European style, but she updates them with really luxe materials. So something like Red Dragon Onyx, which you're seeing here, um, but also uh, ceramics, brasses, irons. Uh, it's a really gorgeous luxe collection that we're, we're very into this season. So stunning. Uh, and then the last piece I wanted to talk about was our Anya Travertine coffee table. Um, again, a really unexpected material, Travertine. It's a limestone, uh, but it's a nice alternative to your typical marble. Um, again, doing like really diversifying our materials, getting a lot of variety and texture in there, um, especially when you're doing a very tonal look is key. So I'm so in love with this piece. It has gorgeous striation throughout, a lot of variation in colors, um, but it still has that bit of coral, which corresponds to the other uh, shades of red in the room. That is one of my personal favorites too. And I also just wanted to call it the tapestry that we have featured here. So if you saw in the previous image, that gorgeous wall painting, so that was custom to the location. However, you can achieve that same look with some of the tapestries that we offer. So you just need to search for tapestry and some really beautiful options will come up and give you a absolutely gorgeous statement wall that looks like it was, you know, built into the space that you really think <laughs> yourself. Absolutely. Amazing. I definitely don't trust myself with wall treatments, so that is a great alternative. <laughs> yes, it's not permanent. <laughs> no, tapestries are great because they're temporary and you can move them around as you see fit, but they give you a lot of look for Love very it. little lift. Um, so here what we're doing is, um, you know, we understand that everybody's kind of in different phases of uh, decorating their homes. I personally am not in the market for a giant sofa and you might not be either. Um, but we wanted to show you how you can achieve this look with smaller decor. If you have your foundations already, um, you can still achieve this look uh, by popping in bits of that really striking red color throughout the room. So we start with this stunning geometric viscose rug, the Kareem rug. Um, this is so soft, you guys, and it is stunning in person. Again, like very different shades of red coming throughout, but it is such an eye-catching piece. It really is beautiful. And we wanted to move on. So if you don't need a coffee table, you can maybe go for the Anya side table. So you know, this collection comes in various iterations um, and a side table is really easy to, to pop in. They're great, they're functional. They also work really nicely as um, alternative, alternative nightstands. Uh, and then just to continue with this color story throughout, the easiest way to do this is with throw pillows and blankets. They add a lot of texture, they add a lot of warmth, especially now that we are getting into fall. Um, it's all about being as cozy as possible. 
Totally. And if you're like me and you have a seasonal wardrobe update, I think you should also have a seasonal home update. So the easiest and most reasonable way to do that is with pillows and throws. They can change the entire color scheme of your room without having to do any painting or getting any large furniture updates. So it's one of my favorite things to do come the winter months, time to get into some of those really cozy textures um, that really go a long way when it's a little bit colder outside. Absolutely. All right, so next I'm gonna talk a little bit about the home office, which I don't think any of us realized was going to be such a priority this year. So, <laughs> so a lot of us have been starting to work from home. So whether you actually have an existing home office that was probably a, you know, a guest room or workout space and it's time to kind of dust it off and it needs a refresh, or if you're like me where you need to convert an existing space to also be your office, and um, I want to talk about some of the solutions that we have, um, different desk styles, how to integrate them into your existing space, and then how to make them really functional because we definitely need it during this time. So today we're talking about the Palmer desk at first. We'll get into some other options in just a minute. But I wanted to highlight this desk. This is featured in our Home on Hudson editorial. This desk is so versatile and I think it's really beautiful and can fit into almost any space. So that's why we really love this style. It also has a really light visual weight. So what that means is that it will fit in kind of any space without it feeling overwhelming or like it's taking up too much room. So it has a really nice light footprint. Um, it's, this desk is made out of oak and then it has these really beautiful cast iron legs. There's also a little storage component, which we love. So to help you keep neat and tidy, especially if your desk is in a shared space. I wanna to talk to you about how to build what you're seeing here in the image. So first we have the Jolene table lamp that's sitting on the desk right now. So this lamp is absolutely stunning. So while it looks like it's this kind of pink marble, it's actually a treatment done in resin. So really interesting treatment. It's absolutely beautiful and the scalloped edges are really gorgeous. Um, I think this is a really stunning way to kind of contrast those super clean lines of the Palmer desk. Um, next, I wanted to call out the wall art that we have here. So if you do not have a gorgeous window like the one in the photo, I highly recommend having something pretty to look at above your desk. So we have a really big assortment of wall art right now, and I love the color palette in here, and I think this really pulls in nicely with some of that rose uh, detail of the lamp as well. Of course, need to have some bowls and catch-alls for everything that may be on your desk as well. So this Ayla bowl, is really stunning and striking in this kind of black color. So I want to show another option as well just to get the look and this is what I love about our assortment is that there's so many different ways that you can put together a really similar look in here. So I think if you are looking for something a little bit more supportive if you're sitting at a desk all day I would like to recommend the heritage chair instead of one of the stools. So this is going to give you a little bit more support than a stool and um, this is in the black finish, but we do have three other options online. We just thought this paired really nicely with those cast iron legs. And then for a similar look, but if you want something that's a little bit more neutral in color, the Jade Table Lamp has this really stunning kind of green and then ochre streaks through it. So really beautiful stone detail here. Something I wanted to call out as well, which is one of my easiest and favorite styling tips is to really utilize coffee table books to help you get the height that you need and also to help display some of your favorite personal finds. So uh, this book is actually featuring um, Amber Lewis, who is part of our newest collaboration with Amber Interiors. So this is definitely a great pickup for some home inspiration, but I love using books to help kind of customize the height of lamps. So, you know, there's nothing worse than when you're sitting down at a desk and you have that light bulb in your eyes, right? So this will help you kind of achieve the height that you need. I also think a great stack of books can help kind of anchor smaller pieces that you're styling with, smaller decor accent pieces, like these mini bowls that we see here, the vase. So if you're kind of placing them on the stack of books that you have, it can almost function like a tray a little bit just to help keep everything neat and collected. So hardest working styling piece by far is a great coffee table book or two, I think. It's a great tip. I'll need that. I have tons of them everywhere. <laughs> So next, I wanna talk about a few other office options that we have. So we have a few beautiful desks that I really wanna highlight and they really range in color and finish. So there is definitely one for everybody. The first 
first here is the optical inlay desk. So this is really beautiful handwork. Um, I love this black and white. It's a really great graphic pop. So this looks amazing um, on a maybe a more plain wall that you really want to bring some attention to. We also have it with our Elowin desk chair. Tom's going to talk about this really great chair in just a little bit. Um, I do want to call out that the black and white isn't for you. This comes in a neutral option as well. So it comes with a tonal white and cream bone inlay instead of the black and white. So also really beautiful. Next we have the Odetta desk. So this desk is really going to be a very hard working desk for you. Um, it has the cord escape in the back that you can see here. So that will allow you to kind of keep all your unsightly cords a little bit more organized. There's a lot of great storage as well for your letters, things like that. And this color is the indigo colorway. It is so beautiful. And again, really love this as an option, especially if you have a white wall, it pops really nicely. And the indigo, even though it's technically a blue, is a very, very neutral blue. So it's not gonna clash with any other colors that you do have in the space. Back to the lacquered Regency desk. So if you are looking for storage and a large desk space, this is the best option. It's a beautiful lacquered style with really stunning lucite drawer poles. So really feels very glamorous. And this comes in two additional colors on the site as well, and a dusty rose and then a teal as well. This might be my personal favorite desk. So this is the Samuel desk. So really beautiful hand carving woodwork on the Samuel desk. And then my favorite detail is in contrast to this, you know, really natural approach, you have these gorgeous rose quartz purples that are trimmed in gold. So super glamorous. I love that little touch of pink definitely having a moment in interior design right now. So this is a nice way to maybe introduce just a little bit of that color into your palette. And then again, really great storage solutions here. Lastly, I did want to call out the washed wood desk. I think this desk and the Palmer desk that we talked about before, I kind of put them in the same category in terms of having a really kind of light visual weight, right? So they're a little bit more narrower um, in depth and there's something that doesn't take up a ton of visual weight in your space. So if you have a space that you are using for multi-purposes, I would definitely recommend this one. This can be used in the future if you no longer have a desk in your living room, right? It can be used as an entryway table, used as a console wherever you need it, tucked behind a sofa. So I do love that this piece feels really versatile and like it has kind of a multi-use. So if you want to change up how you use it in the future, you'll definitely find a way to. All right, and then I did want to give a quick call out to our work from home shop. So this we have on the website right now. So in addition to the amazing desks that we have, we have plenty of things to put on them as well. So these are some of my favorite little trinkets that we have to keep you organized and energized while you're working. One of my favorites is this agate desk clock. I think this is just what the most stunning color. So beautiful and I feel like as soon as you have a clock on there it definitely makes it feel like you're on the clock right at the office. So I love, that, I love in the chat for that one too Maddie that seems to be a fan favorite across the board. It's so gorgeous I think it comes in like three other colors too but this one was my personal favorite and it inspired my whole color scheme here for our the love top it. of our uh, desks. Um, the next that I do want to call out is the workspace monitor stand you are using a monitor. I think we all know the struggles of trying to adjust that height to be the right spot. This is a really beautiful version of one. Also gonna remind you, use a stack of books. That's another really great option to use to achieve the right height that you want. Tom, do you have a favorite in here? I really love the workspace monitor stand because I love that it can do double duty. So it can be sort of your desk like tools organizer, um, but if you also, you can also lay it flat to get the height that you want. Um, if your coffee table books are otherwise occupied. Um, I'm a big fan of that. And I love that wood texture. Amazing. All right, you wanna tell us a little bit about this living room space? I do. Um, so we're continuing on uh, with our House on the Hudson edit, um, but here we're talking about dining. Um, so we are starting foundation in this piece here is obviously this really beautiful Maxwell dining table. Um, and what I love about this space is that they've taken a traditional dining arrangement and they've broken it out. Um, so instead of doing six or eight single chairs around the table, they've broken it up by doing half chairs and a bench. Um, I really love that sort of casual, very earthy, but elegant 
um, look. It also gives your eye a little bit of height. It sort of travels up as you're looking to the room. Um, and what you can't really see from this picture, uh, but you can see it online and a little bit up close, is the top of the table and the top of the bench have little like brass butterfly joiners inset into it. So it gives okay. just a little hint of shine. It's such an amazing detail. Uh, so let's take the room and we'll, we'll break it out as we have been doing. Um, so here you can see what we have going on is a really warm tonal look. So again, we're sticking on the warmer side of the color spectrum. We're doing this really sort of like, it's having a moment now is this ochre yellow color. And I love it, especially for fall. It, it feels like autumn leaves. Um, so you have that paired with this almost rusty orange um, in this really nicely textured linen. So again, cozy, lots of texture, lots of warmth, um, but still a very nice, sleek, sophisticated silhouette. So the best of both worlds here. Um, drawing your eye up, we have our um, amber pendant here. It's sort of this like ombre glass shade, which gives off a really warm glow. Um, so again, it also draws your eye upwards, um, but really complements and enhances those warmer hues which um, finally, another piece from our Lemieux collection uh, is the rug. Um, it's a hand-woven jute rug, so excellent for a dining space, super low pile, super easy to maintain, stands up really well uh, to a lot of foot traffic. So I love these kinds of rugs for dining spaces. I'm a that rug. I think that's yep. my favorite of all of them right now. It's a great piece. And again, a very sort of traditional artisan technique is, is a hand-woven jute rug. Um, but we've updated it with this very modern geometric pattern, which I love. I love that twist. So gorgeous. Love it. So the other main component to this space is this stunning sideboard, the Kylo sideboard. Um, and it's made of beech wood and oak. Um, they're the designer's inspiration here. If you're looking at the front of the sideboard was parquet floors. Um, and what they did was sort of take that idea and make it really kind of abstract. So it has a lot of really interesting dimension to it uh, and it makes a huge impact. Um, and it's a pretty neutral palette here, which is what you'd want to keep because you want all the focus to kind of be on this really stunning sideboard. So we haven't loaded it up with product on top. Um, we're really sticking to a very edited look here. So just a few vessels um, in varying textures. So you still get some visual interest um, you get some height with the branches there. Um, we actually, if you're looking for a very low maintenance alternative to live uh, plants, uh, we have several dried grasses and uh, dried blooms on our site that are obviously very low maintenance. You don't have to water them. They can stay there forever. Um, that sounds up my alley, Tom. I yep. can't really keep anything alive at this rate, so that sounds perfect. <laughs> super, super easy. Uh, and then I just want to call attention to this really beautiful print. Um, this was printed on archival photography paper, and I love that it really brings home that sort of earthy, uh, yet elegant, uh, whole, you know, really earthy vibe. Yeah, I love this. I think it's a really great way to still have that earthy vibe, as you're mentioning, but keep it from feeling overly rustic, right? So this brings a nice modern approach to the look. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel sort of themed. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, so we wanted to take those really great foundational pieces, the Maxwell dining table and Maxwell chair, um, and show them how they would work with a different look. So we're taking, we're taking leave of our warmer tones and we're headed to the opposite end of the color spectrum for like maximum contrast. So we're doing really cool blues, um, ceruleans, you'll see a little bit of mint here. Uh, we are again doing a flat woven rug. Um, this one has some cotton woven into it, so it's a little bit softer, but again, really easy to maintain in this really, really beautiful uh, artisanal print. Um, so gorgeous, I love that color. Just a different kind of take on a blue. I think you don't really see this tone a lot, so it's really nice to see. Absolutely right. It's not your typical uh, teal, it's not your navy. Um, it's kind of like a deep cerulean. It's really interesting. It has a lot, of, the light hits it beautifully. Um, speaking of light, looking up, we have our Nepalis pendant. Uh, this is a really, really interesting piece. It's made of rattan and woven with palm leaves. So 
really interesting texture. Again, we're talking about using materials that are kind of unexpected. Um, these pendants are the inspiration for them were uh, these, it's a type of cactus. Uh, you can kind of see that inspiration in the final product, uh, but when it's lit, it gives off a really beautiful pattern on the ceiling and the wall. So a really nice warm glow. There's um, got to be a funny question in the chat there, Tom, um, for that one. Someone's wondering if you would recommend going with like a warmer versus a cooler light bulb for that. So like, I guess what has the best effect there? That I guess depends on what you're going for. If you're looking for something more functional, I would go with a cooler, like a, a more pure white, right. um, but Dining room lighting tends to be more on the decorative side anyway. Um, my instinct for that would be to go with uh, like a warmer kind of amber bulb and then you'll have that really beautiful welcoming glow. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and the last piece I want to call attention to in this edit is um, the sideboard here. It's our Wallace sideboard. It's made of oak, um, but the drawer fronts and the, the doors have uh, it's cane fronted. So it has a really beautiful, beautiful texture. You can't quite see it here, um, but it's so versatile. Uh, you can also take this, it has a cord escape in the back. So this could also double as your media console. It's a great entryway piece. Um, this really is kind of one of our workhorses. If you don't have the room for a full on dining table with eight chairs or a bench or anything, I certainly do not. Uh, we have some excellent, excellent alternatives for small space dining. Um, I love small space dining. I think it is uh, so smart and can be so versatile because it can also work as your workspace or your desk. Um, so what we're doing here, you probably recognize the silhouette by now. It's our uh, part of our Anya Travertine collection again. So again, that really beautifully striated uh, material on the tabletop. Um, and then if you're a longtime Anthropology Furniture fan, you probably recognize the chairs. Those are our best-selling LON chairs. We have had them uh, for, I think, close to four years now. And uh, we have just been updating them like crazy and adding more and more fabrics because the silhouette is so versatile, it really can support a lot. Um, so you're seeing them here in a really beautiful boucle. Uh, this is a really soft, cozy, kind of nubby texture, almost like your favorite old sweater. Um, but it's so, so durable, which again is great for a dining room. Uh, the other pieces I just wanted to call out here is this, again, another beautiful geometric rug. Um, geometric rugs are really having a moment right now. I think we've been seeing so many of those um, more traditional styles uh, that it's nice to kind of break that up here. Uh, and again, a really cool black and white neutral goes with pretty much anything. Um, the other material I wanted to point out here is this Burl Buffet. Um, Burl, again, up close, a lot of really interesting wood grain and it has a nice sheen to it. So it feels very, very luxe. Okay. And then just one other alternative for small space dining. Uh, here we're going for like a very true uh, mid-century European vibe. So we have our uh, marquetry bistro table. So it has this really stunning walnut veneer uh, and they've cut it and applied it so that it creates this really beautiful uh, almost herringbone pattern. Uh, we're pairing that here with our Effie um, dining chair. All over uh, upholstered velvet tripod silhouette, really unexpected, very kind of Italian inspired. Um, and this velvet is so, so luxe. Uh, it's very soft and it's, um, it's a cotton velvet. So again, really, really durable. It's really gonna stand up well over time. Yes, I just wanna be at a cafe in Milan sitting on this look. All the espresso. I was gonna say, I don't normally go for green, but the minute you pulled this up, I was like, ooh, I don't know. Something about that just feels so like luxurious and elegant. I love it. And very it's easy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's really rich and I also love this green. Um, you know, if this is looking a little bit too dark for you, you can also pair this with like a really great dusty rose color or even a blush just to make it feel a little bit more feminine. It's really beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, and then we couldn't get through this without pointing out our all-time favorite piece of decor maybe ever uh, is our Gleaming Primrose Mirror. Uh, comes in now four sizes. We just expanded it with a slimmer six foot tall. Uh, iteration, which is great for hallways or a dressing room. Um, those lucky uh, few of you who have a walk-in closet. Perfect. Um, and it also now comes in three finishes. So there's the brass that we all know and love. 
Um, there's a pewter sort of silver shade uh, and a matte black, which is absolutely stunning. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. All right, I said we were gonna talk about the yellow one and here we are. Uh, so you can see here uh, when we first introduced the yellow one, we launched it in these really saturated, beautiful jewel tone velvets. Um, and it has expanded to include really anything. So it can accommodate any style at this point. Um, you probably remember uh, the swivel chair from Maddie's talk through the office spaces. Um, it's in this beautiful chartreuse velvet, which pairs so well with a neutral like that black and white desk. We're also doing them in florals. Um, this floral on the top right that you see is actually an archival print. Uh, that was used, I believe, on an anthropology skirt many, many years ago. Uh, but our designers came across it as they were looking for inspiration and thought it was so beautiful, uh, they used it to upholster the chair. I think that's such a fun detail. Love that. Uh, finally, for a more relaxed or bohemian look, you can customize the Elowin and have it upholstered in our beautiful Winchester leather. Uh, we offer it in a couple of seasonal prints, like these really beautiful woven uh, it's almost kind of like a geometric stripe pattern. Uh, and then these lovely textured linens with an update to the hardware, instead of the shiny brass that we all love, we're doing a uh, matte cast iron. It has really nice texture. Awesome, thanks Tom. So next we're gonna talk a little bit about the bedroom. So this again, we're back at our home on Hudson photo shoot. And this is one of the most gorgeous four poster beds so inviting. So we're going to talk a little bit more about what that look is made of. So first, I do want to call out the Bergen Canopy bed. So this bed, what makes it really special is it feels, again, really light for being a four-poster bed. So of course, that kind of natural finish oak is very bright and optimistic, which is great. And also, if you take a look at the headboard, what I love about this is that the headboard doesn't go completely off to the sides of the poster, right? So it gives the illusion that it's kind of floating. So again, really nice touch of design on here. So we love that. Next, we're talking about the Vivi Patchwork quilt. So this quilt I think is so amazing and so versatile. I've never seen a quilt that has so many colors in it, but it still feels really neutral at the same time. And what's great about this quilt is that you can really pull from any color that's your favorite in here, right? So here we've kind of highlighted um, the kind of red tones in it with that accent pillow, but you could easily pull from the green, the blue, or even add some more of that really beautiful ochre in here. So versatile. Love, love, love that quilt. I have to say my bed right now is like all white and this is making me want to go out and switch it up and either get more colorful pillows or maybe like a colorful accent on my nightstand. I just, I'm loving the tones there. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. It's really, really great for fall, but also can easily transition into all months. Yeah. And because it's a quilt too, something that's important, it's a much lighter weight, right? But you can layer it with your duvet. So if you're more of a duvet person, we love to layer a bed and we've got a couple of really great images um, coming up too to show you how to do that. Um, but a really great style to layer with. If you're like me though, I, I'm good with just a quilt most days and then a cozy throw to layer on too. Right. Next, I want to talk about the Elio nesting tables. So these tables can function as an end table as well as a nightstand. And you can also kind of break them apart. They're really versatile pieces. And I really love the kind of industrial take on, on this style. And then next, I want to talk about the Patricia sconce. So a sconce is a really great lighting solution to use when you do have a four poster bed in your room. So this will, again, help to draw the eye up to the, all the beautiful work on that four poster bed. And also, these are a great solution if you don't have a ton of space on the sides of your bed. Installing a sconce like this really takes up no space at all and you have more surface area for your nightstands. Also, speaking of nightstands, right now we're really seeing a trend in using actually a really fun, great chair as a nightstand. So this brings a really um, bohemian, kind of carefree look to the space. So you can set books on it, add a candle, maybe even a vase of flowers and you have a great accent there whenever you need one. So very, very multifunctional. Lastly, I wanna highlight this gorgeous portrait at the bottom here. So this morning's in Pennsylvania piece is part of our portraiture collection. We have a lot of really beautiful options on the site. And I think portraits just make a really stunning statement in on their own or in a gallery wall. And um, there are tons that you can choose from on our site. 
So I want to talk about another option too. So if you don't have room for a four poster bread, that is okay, totally understand. But we do have a really gorgeous alternative. So this is the hemming bed. What I love about this bed, and the hemming bed is featured right over here on the side, is that it has that really same tone of that natural oak that we just saw in the Bergen bed. Much smaller footprint, obviously it's not four poster. And what's really great is the headboard cushion in the back here. This can actually be removed and we have tons of different options for the color and fabric to choose from. So this is like the ultimate versatile bed because you can actually change up that back headboard cushion with the season. So right now this is featured in a really beautiful nubby boucle, kind of like that chair, the, the Elowen chair that Tom was talking about before. So this gives a lot of really great warm texture. It's also available in a range of leathers as well as linens. Also want to talk about a alternative to the quilt that we saw before. So this still has that really beautiful kind of horizontal stitch work. So has a similar vibe, but obviously we're talking about a solid color now and it's also velvet. So one of my favorite ways in addition to updating pillows and throws in my living room is always doing a seasonal change out of some of my bedding too. So velvet is absolutely the way to go come cooler months. And this has such a really beautiful luck sheen to it as well. This bedding comes in a few different colors online. There is a blue, a green, and an ochre color that are just so gorgeous and it's very challenging to decide which one I'm gonna get. So I will say though, I was inspired by another portrait that we have here. This garden lady wall art, I definitely pulled a little bit from that pink scarf that she has around her neck. So that is tying the whole room together. That in addition to these Marija accent pillows. So I thought these would be a really beautiful way to kind of add a fun pop of color in here. So taking the, the reverse approach to what we saw on the previous page where we had a really colorful quilt and then just a solid accent pillow, doing the reverse here. Also wanna call out the Quincy nightstand. So this is one of our charging nightstands. So what that means is that you can actually plug your phone right into this nightstand. So there is a USB and an electrical outlet already built in. So really making this super functional so you don't need to reach for that outlet or maybe you don't have an outlet nearby. So this is a really great solution. And then this offers a little bit more storage than the nightstand that we saw on the previous page. I love that one. I like to tell everybody that it's fancy and functional. It kind of accomplishes both. Totally. It absolutely does. <laughs> and how often are you stuck, like forced to position your bed against a specific wall because there's an outlet, but you want it facing somewhere else? This really yes. gives you the freedom. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Exactly. <laughs> so last but not least, I do want to touch on our collaboration with Amber Lewis from Amber Interiors. So we have a really exciting collaboration with her that is on the website right now. Uh, I will say it is selling so fast. We had planned to originally share a whole other look. Um, so I encourage you to get online and check out all the options that she has across furniture and decor. This bedding is really beautiful. It is still available right now. So I would get it while it's hot. And I think this has a really beautiful tone to it. it does remind me it's something that could easily work into any of those looks that we can show you. So we love Amber Interiors and we're so excited about this collaboration. So if you guys liked what you saw today, um, you are welcome to shop in store. And if there's not in a, a location or a design center near you, all of our styling services are offered virtually via email consultation or virtual appointment. So you can just book online and hopefully we'll get to chat with you soon. And thank you guys all again for joining us. Like I said, we have a lot of other events coming up over the next couple months. We have everything from styling events for apparel and home to different organizational um, discussions that we're hosting with external partners. So great organizations like Ignite National and Living Beyond Breast Cancer. A lot of really uplifting and motivational things that we would love to have you there to talk about with us. So I'll make sure to pop in the chat our events landing page where you can find more info on all of those and RSVP. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Bye, Tom.